Working from home might fill you with excitement of happiness because you feel that you have all the space and the time to do what you want when you want to do it. But working from home can actually lead you to feel more anxiety, more tension, and more stress because we never feel like we're doing enough work. We always feel like we have all the time and the space to do everything and we have to do everything in that time and space. Therefore, it's so important for you to be able to sit down and know what you're gonna do, when you're gonna do it, and also why you have that felt sense that nothing you do is ever enough. You need to start to refocus and reform the way that you see working from home, because otherwise you're gonna be stuck in this perpetual cycle of feeling you've never done enough, working long hours, working too much, leading you to get burnt out, feeling down, depressed, and like you have no control over your life. So this video is gonna help you to understand why you feel out of control when working from home. And in order for us to sort this out, what we need to do is to look at three different types of needs. That's your mental needs, physical needs, and emotional needs. Because if we haven't got all of those needs met, we're always gonna feel like we're lacking. For example, if you feel that your mental needs and your emotional needs are met, but physically you haven't got any space, it's gonna lead you to feel uncomfortable, not knowing what to do, and your focus is gonna be on that need. So we need to make sure we tick all those needs off so that you feel in control of every aspect of your life. So first of all, physical needs. And physical needs are really important because it just sets the baseline for you being able to work and feel happy and empowered while you're working. So number one, make sure you get up at exactly the same time every day. And that doesn't mean having a little lion every so often. You set your alarm and you get up because if you're not gonna get up, I can delay getting up, I can delay having a shower, I can delay doing work then what happens is that you get out of control when it comes to work. It's all about having that boundary, having that staple in your life so that you know it's just done, it's easy. You get that off your plate, you're up, you're ready, and you feel empowered to make a start. Number two, make sure you're well fueled, and that means eating and drinking, because when we get up, we think, well, I can eat anytime I want. I could do whatever I want, whenever I want to do it. Therefore, I can delay eating because I've got to get all this work done. You need to make sure your priority is you because then what that will do is to put you in the best next step in order to do that thing that you need to do. Because if you're hungry, you're not going to be focusing on doing that work project. You're going to be focusing on your rumbling belly. And if that's the case, then you're not going to be able to focus on anything else unless that hunger is gone. And that's the same with any physical need. Imagine, for example, your arm hurt and you thought you needed to go to hospital. Would you be focusing on that work project? I don't think so. So then your physical needs are the baseline in order for you to feel empowered and motivated and content when working from home. Next, mental needs. And your mental needs mean that you can't be focusing on more than one thing at a time. If you're expected to work in a lounge with a TV on, radio on, you're gonna be doing anything else except that work. Therefore, make sure that mentally, you have that space in order to dedicate your time to what's important, the work project, an assignment, whatever it is you're working on, because otherwise what's gonna happen is that mental need will always get muddled up and it's gonna lead you to feel like you're out of sorts out of place, you won't know where to put your energy, which will lead you to emotionally feel vulnerable. And that emotional vulnerability stops so many of us from being able to do anything. Because once we feel emotionally vulnerable, what happens is, is that everything shuts down because we feel the need to do everything all at the same time. And you can't do that. You can only do one thing at a time. You've got a work assignment and you're watching TV. You're not gonna be focusing on what you're writing. You're gonna be focusing on what's on the TV. Same with hearing. How are you meant to articulate and formulate a sentence if all you can hear is the news in the background or your favorite TV show? Same with imagination. How are you meant to contemplate what's going on if all you're doing is hearing about everyone else's needs? You need to make sure then that you're in a safe, comfortable place physically so that your needs are your own. Next is your emotional needs. And something that's gonna really help you with this is having a time boundary. Because if you're expected to sit down at 9 a.m. and work all the way until 5 p.m., it's never gonna work. You're gonna feel out of sorts, out of control, and you're gonna be lacking in energy. Therefore, time is something that you can work with. As an example, I make sure that I have a break at 11 a.m. And that break might only be five minutes, but that break helps me to de-stress, have a coffee, get my needs met, so that emotionally I'm not waning and feeling like I need something else in my life. I know what I need to do in that moment in order to feel emotionally stable, because that emotional stability will lead you to be able to concentrate more, be creative in terms of working, and just lead you to feel safe and at ease with not just what you're working on at home, but also everything else around you. So that when you do take a break, 
You're not going to be frantically running around, scared and anxious about taking that time off. You're going to be able to sit down, take a deep breath in and relax. And relaxation is so important. And if you're out of sorts when it comes to time, you're not going to be able to relax. Relaxation helps you to articulate yourself better, helps you to be more in control and get the best work done. So make sure that you have that time boundary there and ready. Next is to start talking to people. And when I say that, you're probably thinking, well, you've just told me to take myself away from everyone. So who am I going to talk to? But you need to tell people that you need your time, your space in order to get this work project done. Because otherwise, people are going to be walking in. They're going to be expecting you to do things. They're going to think and feel that you are not putting them as a priority. And to be honest with you, in that moment when you're working, you're not. It's important for them to know that because otherwise they're going to feel disappointed. They're going to feel upset. They might even get angry with the fact that you're not prioritizing their needs. You're doing your work stuff or doing the stuff that you need to do. And doing that is fine. But when you actually tell someone what it is that you need from them, you're showing a sense of vulnerability. And that vulnerability allows them to see who you are and what you're doing. If you're keeping it a secret, they're never going to know what you're doing and they're going to feel upset. They're going to feel angry. As I said, they're going to feel that you're not giving them what they need. You tell them what you need in that moment, create that space, then all of a sudden people fall in line. People respect you and are able to be proud of what you're doing because they know what it is. They don't know what it is, how they're meant to feel proud, how they're meant to feel safe. What you're doing is helping yourself and them also. So this video has been about how to feel safe in control and able to work from home. And remember, working from home might fill you with a sense of jubilation, happiness, and contentment. So use these steps in order to work from home in a safe, controlled way that also allows you to be productive, to get what you want, and also to allow other people to know what you're doing and allow them to see who you are while you're still working from home. Allow the whole picture to come together because once you start doing that, you'll start to see that working from home isn't just sitting down and just working nine to five the whole time, never feeling you're doing enough. It will lead you to know that you've done enough work in the moment and you've had your breaks and you feel productive, motivated, and you're getting the best work done. Sitting down, just trying to churn out work without any break. What's the pleasure in doing that? And also how productive and how good is that work gonna be? Make sure you start understanding what your needs are and follow through with them. And on that note, I'm gonna wish you all the best. Remember to like this video and subscribe to see plenty more to come. Also, why don't you let me know how you're getting on working from home? And if you've got any questions, please do let me know and I'll answer them in a future video. See you soon, take care, bye-bye.